All right, we need to do a discussion video on what the heck happened at YCF Chicago. Besides, well, you know, this. So, my voice is a little bit raspy. I apologize for that. Kind of recovering from the dryness of the air. It's kind of gotten to my throat a little bit. So I might be a little bit more monotone than the normal for this video. Please work with me. I'm going to not be able to record as much in advance. Everything will have to be more contained within the window. But let's dig on into what the heck happened at YCF Chicago. And there will be metagame discussions following this when I can. All right, I'm gonna call this YCS, YCS Danger. Ah, oh, fucking. So if this YCS taught you, your mom, your dad, your abusive stepdad, anything about the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it is that the Danger Engine was a mistake. Oh, what a real shocker there. Um, I've covered a lot of the deck profiles I could. I didn't get Calvin's, I didn't get the winning one. Uh, if I'd stayed longer, I did, but it was already running around 5, 6 o'clock. Can't, can't be out past my bedtime. Can't have that. But, Danger Engine was abused in everything. And this will make for a good discussion later. But, when you have multiple decks that are digging through their deck with Danger, you have the... The World, OTK, which barely bubbled. If you guys haven't seen the list, I would really recommend that you watch it on this channel. It was actually pretty crazy. You have Ed's list. Um, had Ed actually appropriately side-decked and not got the game loss, uh, or aka scooping because he drew the side-deck card, you know, he, things might have went better for Ed. Um, I definitely think that he had the potential to win that event because his deck was crazy. All right, that Orca's Nightmare stuff was great. And we also kind of seen, even with like the Pure Danger build that made top 16, the impact of Danger cards in the metagame right now is just... <sighs> Why did you have to make an entire archetype for draw power? All right, like, I understand that you were probably like, oh, it's okay, but man, you've put a big, big damper on the entire game right now because now we have to deal with every deck playing turbo danger go 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 like literally the consistency and the power that that engine has is so stupid now something else that we got out of this ycs is everybody and their mother evolved their dumb decks to be able to play as a thought now with the quick play spell card rank up magic you get to make as a thought Kali Yuga, all these other guys on your opponent's turn, and your opponent can't do anything about it, literally. Because I made a discussion video a long time ago. I said, as a thought will be a problem. Have my comment section told me, oh, Rob, you don't know anything. As a thought won't be a problem anymore. Here we are. We've reached an impasse yet again where I was right. I guess maybe the more times I say this, the more my worth will be proven. But... Okay, so now the metagame has evolved into everything was kind of looking great, you know, like Sky Strikers and stuff, and then when you start throwing decks into the fray like Azthoth and Kal Yugi that do not allow your opponent to fundamentally play the game, you have a problem. February, March, April. We have three months to deal with Azathot and Kal Yuga. All right, at the end of this three months, you're going to have lost your mind. Because you're not gonna be able to play the game. I'm be like, oh, oh, great! My opponent's gonna rank up my shit or rank up their shit. I'm be like, oh no! You know, mind hacker ranking up into a Kali King Yuga is really cute. All right, I almost want to bust my prize card out just so I can make mind hacker and rank it up at locals. All right, so yes, we have reached the point where. A lot more people were a lot more smarter at this event than, oh god, that was a train wreck for grammar. A lot more people were aware of what was going on in the metagame this event. A lot of people were on the as a thought, stop your opponent train. And, oh my god, it was crazy just how much people were abusing as a thought. Like, thanks Rusty Tin Can, <laughs> you've done your job. Now, the impact of Guard Dragons on this event was spectacular. All right, like, okay, so everybody was looking at the Guard Dragons, and they're like, okay, so we're gonna start things off, we're gonna look at Crusadia. Crusadia, people were like, oh, hey, 
you know, they'll be able to abuse the guard dragons, put a couple negates on the board. You can OTK your opponent. That's kind of what everybody had going on in, in the forefront of their mind. They're like, okay, so this is how I use them in, in Crusadia. I didn't really think other people were going to start approaching things, but we kind of learned from this YCS that, oh, oh, guard dragons and thunder dragons? Oh, they go hand in hand. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> you know, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss with the Guard Dragons, crazy. Putting them in Crusadia to increase your OTKs, crazy. <sighs> guard Dragons, so Guard Dragons going to be like dinosaurs during zoo format. You're going to have the more abusive zoo deck, which is going to be, you know, actual danger engine, and then the Guard Dragons kind of be underneath that. Guard Dragons will probably get checked on a future list. I don't want to take too much away from the, the thing because I do like the power that the guard dragons bring into it, but Collapse Serpent Wyvern Buster, that's some real, like the fact that you can play it in Thunder Dragons and already have access to it without playing Instant Fusion. By the way, did you know that you can Instant Fusion out Dark Fire Dragon and use it to make a guy? The amount of people that don't actually know that is kind of crazy, but you can do it. You know, so it's that, but yes, the Guard Dragon engine, a big player in this weekend's event. I actually think that Guard Dragons might have been pretty fucking crazy um, for you know, just calling it. Now, I need to talk about the Luna Lights, actually. Okay, so Luna Lights were an ends to a means, if you know what I mean. Every deck kind of was doing the same thing. Oh yeah, as I thought you, yay. You know, you don't get the ability to play the game. And it's kind of what dangers are doing at the moment. You're playing an engine for a generic means. It's kind of crazy because like, you've got four decks in the game right now that all kind of want to do the same thing. But how you get to, from point A to point B, all completely different. And it's kind of crazy. Everybody's just like, as I thought, go. And you know, Luna Lights were kind of the culprit for that situation. Now, of course, how many people actually know how to play against Luna Lights at this point in time? I think that was the big thing I heard as to why Raphael actually got the chance to win the event, was people were uneducated. People weren't aware of what Luna Lights did, and the element of surprise is excellent. But, you know, let's call it what it is at the end of the day. As a thought, won the event. Not actually... Raphael, or not actually, you know, Luna Lights. So that's kind of a little inside joke there for the most part. But yeah, it doesn't matter what engine you got. Ed's deck played Orcus, for example. Like, you're just kind of putting a bunch of little cards into a deck that wants to projectile something. So, as a thought, is the real culprit in today's metagame. It shouldn't really shock you guys that we're just playing all these engine cards to kind of get to things. It's kind of strange that we have so many engines that we can actually use in today's metagame to kind of achieve the same result. I guess it goes to prove that just how generic these win conditions can be in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! That we actually just have the chance to abuse these. Because I don't know about you guys, like, I'm not really looking too forward to seeing some of these engines. I want to see some of them checked, but we got to get rid of Azathoth first. So... There's that. But my overall final thoughts for the weekend here. Call it what it was. The YCS, I think, was a great event. A lot of people went into this event very educated. The, the Guard Dragon, Thunder Dragon decks were extremely scary. 33rd place list looked really good. If you take anything from this event, understand that the danger cards, their danger... <laughs> well, no shit, they're dangerous. They're, we've gotten to the point that we continue to print more of these, even good ones, there's going to be an issue. Like, we, we're already experiencing, like, issues here, but it's kind of crazy. As a thought, Kali King Yuga, actually the quick up, the quick rank up spell card is an issue that needs to be addressed. At some point, we'll probably take care of it in the next list. Vanamaze is the strongest card that we've seen in a long time. Sky Strikers... I'm sorry, you guys indirectly got hit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened to Ultra Guys this weekend either. Um, I know a lot of people were a lot more prepared. We saw Red Reboots, we saw Twin Twisters in main decks to make sure that people didn't have to deal with those decks. And I respect that. You know, 
Altergeist does mess up things. It was good to see that Guru Control kind of filled that void that Altergeist kind of left. I, I mean, the deck does lose to Red Reboot too, but I mean, yeah, the deck does kind of lose to Red Reboot, but it just kind of depends on the situations. Overall, the YCS was awesome to attend. Um, getting the chance to talk to everybody was fantastic. I know I love going to these events and seeing everybody. You know, we pumped out all these deck profiles. It was great. You know, you guys got information. We got a lot of information on Sky Striker, so I'm looking forward to kind of seeing where the meta evolves from this event. There's a lot going on here. A lot more than I actually think that we're going to get. An Ed's Attack deck is probably the coolest thing I've seen in a while. So, guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And, well, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.